voluntary membership plan is a plan that enables members of the fund to have an opportunity to voluntarily save. Within the NSSF Act, it's a provision that covers two categories. One, you aid an employer that is employing less than five people, and therefore you have the option to voluntarily save for the number that you employ. Number two, you are formerly a member of the fund who, for whatever reason, is no longer actively contributing. The law gives you an opportunity to voluntarily join and contribute for yourself. There is a limitation on how much the formal sector will continue to grow. There is a limitation on how many jobs are created by the economy, but we recognize that even currently, so many people that are engaged in some form of econ economic activity are not covered by any form of pension scheme. So therefore, it becomes important that we extend this coverage to individuals and companies that are ordinarily not covered under the NSSF Act on the mandatory side. If you look at the surge in the number of circles across the country, the number of people that are keeping their balances on mobile money, again, it's an indication that people are actually willing to save. But also looking at our voluntary scheme that is hardly four or five years old, you realize that today we collect in excess of three billion shillings every month. So even within the limitations that we currently work with, to see that on a monthly basis you collect in excess of three billion from the voluntary space is enough indication that given an opportunity, people are actually willing to save. Most of the transactions today are not going through the traditional banks, but rather through mobile. Therefore, one of the ways that we've made for people to save is taking advantage of the developments in mobile money. So you can use Airtel, you can use MTN, and that enables you to save anytime, anywhere. We also are using a network of bank agents across the country in every person's neighborhood. Even if you cannot use the rest of the gadgets and you simply walk within your neighborhood, you should be able to find an agent of a bank and so you, you can still be able to transact. When it comes to individuals that are self-employed, there is a lot of flexibility because you determine when and how much to save. The procedure for enrollment is that uh, we've made it again very flexible. You can use USSD, the NSSF Go app. You access that app and there is a provision that enables you to self register so you basically don't have to visit a branch you, you don't have to visit any touch point whether your phone is a smartphone or what we, we call a cabinet phone you all are able to register electronically from um, inception we've registered about 30,000 um, members on the voluntary side both individuals and employers uh, um, companies then in terms of money, we've been able to collect over 70 billion shillings. But of course, we know that there is much more potential out there if we aggressively get out and look for more people to, to join, especially if there are changes in the law that makes it possible for more people to be able to join the fund. When we are all actively employed, and that employment could be formal or informal, self-employed, I think what we need to recognize is that we all need to prepare for that day when we will no longer be actively earning. And there is no better opportunity to prepare for that than joining the voluntary scheme that is offered by the fund. You are certain that within the market you will get a return that is extremely reasonable and you will be actively contributing towards retiring safely, contributing towards having an income that can take care of you in your old age. So my call to every person out there, especially those who already qualify to join the voluntary scheme, is don't let this opportunity go by because it's an opportunity for you to increase your chances of having a decent retirement.